Hello everybody and welcome back. Now, before we begin with the footprinting lessons, I would like to just show you some of the things you might want to install before we begin. So, the first thing I want you to install is GitHub repository. Basically, if you do not already have it, you just type here apt install git. Now, if you encounter this error, just basically delete these locks from the path that is specified right here. So just take this path, copy it, type here the rm command that we covered, which stands for remove, then paste the file. Now, it might ask you to remove other locks as well. So this one is also here. We want to remove this one as well. So just basically just copy the path and delete it. Let's just paste. Let's see if there is something else. There is one more lock in the cache, which we also want to remove. So copy the third one. And I believe this one is last one. So now that you deleted it, you can install git, which is already installed for me. You just type here apt install git. And how do we use git? Now let me just show you. You just go here on the GitHub website. So basically any program that is not pre-installed in the Kali Linux, you will probably be downloading it over GitHub. So let's say, for example, I know a name of one program. It is called InstaShell. It does not come pre-installed in the Kali Linux, but uh, you can download it in from GitHub. I will show you the command right now. So basically it is the first one. You can see that the site is GitHub and the path, basically the path is what you want to copy. So let me just enlarge this. This is the website and this is the program that I want to download. It is used for Instagram hacking. We will be covering it later on. For now on, I just want to show you how to install any program on GitHub. So basically you just uh, find the program you want to download and you copy the link right here. And once you co copy the link, you just go to your terminal. Let me see just where we are. We are in the slash root directory. And if we type here git clone, which is basically the start of the command, and then you paste the link and then just add dot git it will download the program into our root directory. So as you can see right here, now we have the full program downloaded. It is simple as that. And now you can go to the program and basically use the program. So if you do not have git installed, you basically just install it with the command apt install git. So the next thing I want to show you is, for example, if you want to run a program that is not available to run as a root user or doesn't allow you to run as a root user, you might want to add a non-root user, which is simple. And you just type here the command add user and then basically any name you want. So let's say we want the user called John. It will ask you some of the questions for the new user, which you can answer correctly or not, depending on you. It will ask you firstly for the password, which I will set as 1234. It will ask you to retype that password. I will retype it as 1234. And now it will ask some of the personal information, which I will skip. I will just paste the wrong thing. So it doesn't really matter. Is this information correct? Just type here yes and you have a new user. Now, in order to add that user into the uh, sudo group, which basically means you will be able to run these uh, root commands with that user just using the password from root. So the command for that is user mode small a then big g and sudo and then the name of the account you created, which in my case is John, and it will basically add John as a sudo user, and he will be able to execute root commands if he provides the root password. Now at the rebooting, you can basically log in into your user account, but I will just stay here as a root user for now on, and we will install the next thing you might want to have, which is Telex. Now Telex is a program which basically allows you to execute multiple commands from the same terminal. Now, it could be useful if you're running a bunch of the commands and you want to see what is going on. So you just run multiple commands from the same terminal and see the output of all of those commands. That's why we'll install it just in case. I'm not really sure we will use it, 
but it is good to have it. Now, this will take a few seconds to install and I believe uh, once it is installed we can run it basically with a single pump, simple command which is just tilix. Now here we go, 5% installed, we will wait for this to finish and we will run it right away so I can show you how it works. It is basically the same terminal we have here, just if we want to we can split it in two parts. So the Installing has finished and now I will show you how to run it. So in order to run Tilix, we just type here Tilix and it will open up a terminal, as you can see right here, which is basically the same as this one, just it is white. And if we want to, we can split it on this button. And here we can make multiple terminal windows, basically in one terminal. So if we want to, we can type one command right here, the other command here, and basically here the third command. It could be useful once you run uh, big things, like for example multiple commands from some program, and you want to see what is going on, you basically use Tilix. Now that we have Tilix, we can close it, we don't need it right now. The next thing and the last thing I want you to do is install Tor. Now Tor is a browser which you use to access the Onion routers, Onion links basically, which basically leads you to the deep web. Now you can go app get install Tor, and just here you want to press Y. Now basically we need Tor for multiple things, multiple programs require Tor in order to run. For example the previous program we just installed, which was InstaShell, which we will cover later on, Use a store in order to switch IP addresses, IP addresses in the process of brute forcing Instagram account, for example. Now that is not the only program that uses store, there are a bunch of programs that use it, and you also might want to visit the deep web sometime, so you can just download it and we will have it for all the future purposes. So this should be this should finish relatively fast. Here we go, it is finished. We'll clear the screen and in order to start Tor as a service, we just type here service for start. And it will open up Tor. Now, if you want to run Tor, you just type here Tor, which will say... Yes, could not bind to this address already new, this Tor already running. Yeah, we're basically already running Tor, so it just gives us an error that the Tor is already running. So if we want to stop it, for example, we can just stop with this command service tor stop. Now that is about it for these some of the basic things you might need in the future. And uh, in the next lecture, I will show you the how to change your MAC address in a simple program that is already pre-built in the Kali Linux. It is called MAC Changer. So we will cover that that in the next tutorial, and after that we will go on to the Google hacking harvester and show them. Now, I hope I see you in the next lecture, and take care. Bye.